Okay, last time I was trying to show you how to change the window title up here on your terminal, uh, which I did show you how to do, but then I realized that it would not work inside a script, and that was setting the prompt command variable. Uh, I found another way to do it, and let's see if this works a little bit better, and we're also going to be looking at changing the um, little prompt itself here. So we're going to set the PS, that's a capital PS1 variable, equal to, uh, and then we're going to start our quotations, and then we're going to be using our escape characters, backslash, bracket, backslash, 033, bracket, 0, colon. And once again, I, I don't know exactly what that stands for. I know it's telling uh, the terminal that this part of the script, this part of this line, is going to be the title of the window but I don't know exactly what backslash 033, if it has any significant meaning. If anybody knows, feel free to comment below. So next we're going to say what we want the title of the window to be. So I'm going to say my title. Simple enough. Then we'll do a backslash 007 backslash bracket and then this is where we're going to put what we want the prompt to look like. And I'll just say my prompt dollars. We have to escape out the dollar sign there. So backslash dollar sign. Actually, it should be backslash backslash dollar sign, I think. And we will close. Well, we'll put a space there and close our quotations. And if I typed everything right, I hit enter. There we go. It now says my title up here. And our prompt is my prompt. And you can see I can list, and you can see it still says my prompt. You clear the screen, still says that. So now let's try, try throwing some variables in there. Um, we will say instead of my prompt, let's go dollar sign user at dollar sign host name. And those are just global variables that are set on your computer. We'll hit enter, and now you can see the prompt is metal at metal. Both my computer and my username are metal and we have a little dollar sign there and you can change it you know if you want to pretend to be root you can probably put a pound sign there and oh no that didn't work see I'm this tutorial I have no clue what I'm doing I don't know why I'm trying to teach you guys stuff <laughs> seven interesting oh there we go get rid of those backslashes I guess you don't have to comment it out so you know you can pretend to be root you can go uh, user we can just write root hey now it looks like you're root which you're really not. You're still a regular user. Uh, so let's try taking that command that we just created and let's try throwing it into a script and see if it will work this time. I still have the script we were working on last time so I'll highlight that to copy it and the name of our script was my prompt maybe? Let's see. Do 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 do. What was the name of my... Ah, proc. SH, yes. So let's uncomment all the stuff we commented out last time. I really love making mistakes in front of you guys. It makes me feel good. So we'll paste in the new command. We will cut out the old command and we'll do the same down here. We'll change it though and we'll have it say process complete. Let's not put those in there because I can mess things up. Okay, and we will change this to say. Oh, I put type that in the wrong spot. See, I'm just messing up like crazy. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna set that variable, and we're gonna say dollar sign x percent complete. Let's change this. Let's just repaste in the original line, cut that out, it'll be faster. We'll change my title to complete with an M. We'll hit X to save it. It's already ex executable, but if it wasn't, we change mod plus X, the name of our file. Perfect. And if we dot slash proc sh it still doesn't work. 
Well, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Two tutorials in a row fail. Okay, so if you're a viewer out there and you do know how to get this to work within a script, that would be great. It would be very helpful and I'd appreciate it. Comment below and let us all know and I'll do a video on it because I'm not going to do a third video that's not going to work. We know two ways of changing the terminal uh, uh, title, the window title, but neither of them seem to want to work inside a script. I'm sure there's something small I'm doing wrong. Let me know. Thank you for not laughing too hard at me. Visit filmsbychris.com or bashscripts.info. Also check out the forum on bashscripts.info or chat with us on the IRC at Freenode. Uh, channel is Films by Chris, all lowercase, all one word. And Chris is spelt with a K. Thank you very much. Keep on watching. And don't give me too hard of a time on these last two tutorials. <laughs> Have a great day.